Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So yesterday when we were talking in the breakdown about Sid and about her very unsubtle <laughs> threats to the Mad Batch, we talked about the possibility of her turning the Mad Batch into the Empire and that it was a very real threat, comparatively speaking, now that Admiral Rampart is out of the picture and he wanted to pretend that the Mad Batch had died on Kamino and didn't want to hear anything about it and he even killed that one clone officer to keep the thing hidden. But the thing is, I don't think the Empire is the biggest threat to the Bad Batch in regard to Sid for a couple of reasons. One of them has to do with the fact that Sid already says the Empire is bad for her business, right? So at the very beginning of their acquaintance, she says outright that the Empire hasn't been good for her business. And in the beginning of season two, she threatens the Bad Batch by saying, yeah, you know, when the Empire comes to Ord Mantell, then I'm going to be out of a gig and that means you're going to be out of a gig. But the there's another even more compelling reason why Sid would not turn the Bad Batch into the Empire, at least not directly. And that's because Sid's own operations that she's sent the Bad Batch on, there have been multiple operations that go directly against the Empire. The very first one was in the episode Decommissioned where they snuck into the facility on Corellia and ended up fighting Imperial police droids to get a tactical droids helmet. So they're already going up against the Empire there. In a later episode, they had been hired to get a senator out of an Imperial prison. That's common ground. It was the 10th episode of last season. And then in the following two episodes, those are the ones that take place on Ryloth where we find out that Sid is running guns to the resistance on Ryloth. And this season, at the very start of things, she sent them on a mission to Sereno to steal Count Dooku's war chest or some part thereof from the Empire before they were able to get it off of Sereno. So yeah, Sid has sent the Bad Batch on missions directly in opposition to what the Empire is doing. And so turning the Bad Batch into the Empire, aside from the fact that she doesn't want any attention on her business from the Empire, but even on closer inspection to find out that she's been doing things against the Empire, yeah, that's not going to work out for Sid at all. However, there is something Sid can do that does represent a viable threat to the Bad Batch, and that is to work with a bounty hunter to bring the Bad Batch in. The only problem with that scenario is that, as far as we know, there is no bounty outstanding on any member of the Bad Batch or Omega, as far as we know. And no reason to think so, again, referencing the fact that they're believed to be dead, and that's the way that Admiral Rampart had wanted things to stay. But Sid certainly knows enough shifty underworld characters to create a situation where she could say, I can inform on the location of the Bad Batch in Omega and make some money off the deal and do it through some sort of bounty hunter intermediary. We've already seen Fennec Shand and Cad Bane in this series so far, so it wouldn't be a stretch to see them reappear. And as far as Sid goes, ultimately, we're reminded of the conversation that members of the Bad Batch have with Malegi in the episode Faster from Season 2, Episode 4, where he says, yeah, your loyalty to Sid is admirable, but just be aware that it doesn't always go both ways, so you better watch your backs. Plus, from the threatening messages, you can tell that she's clearly angry about the way that she's been ghosted by the Bad Batch, and I'd venture to say that since the Bad Batch came on board, they've probably been the most profitable team working for Sid, even though they certainly have had their share of failures in situations, but I bet you Sid has gotten more out of them than she ever dreamed of, and certainly with Omega gambling <laughs> in that Common Ground episode and earning enough to wipe out the Bad Batch's debts and then getting her out of her gambling trouble in the Faster episode, yeah, I think the Batch has probably made her a lot more money than any other mercenaries or scoundrels that she's worked with previously. So another reason for her to be angry about the situation. So she's got the motive, she's got the means, now we're just gonna have to wait and see if in these last three episodes she's gonna have the opportunity to betray them and whether she'll actually do it. So 
That's something that for us to keep an eye on as this season winds to a close. And that right there is going to do it for this episode of the podcast. I do want to hear from you, though. Do you think that Sid will betray the Bad Batch? Let me know. If you're catching this on YouTube, hey, comments are right there. And if you're catching an audio version of this, then please head over to the blog post for the show's episode at SW7X7.com and drop a comment there and let me know what you think. And... With that, it just remains for me to say thank you so much for joining me for this episode of the show, as always. And may the Force be with you, wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars-related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2021 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.